Alright, so there it is. And our leak is right up there. You can see the difference between the light and the dark spot. And there it is without it. Yeah, I know there's shit in my radiator down there. But yeah, I'm just gonna bolt the radiator back in. That way, if I have to, I can actually drive the thing. I actually had to take the winch wiring off. Sorry, I'm wiping my forehead it's like 90 out here right now and I had to take the the, the shroud off I had to take that off and this just slides back on over here but there's the piece I built for the light What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to make that rod about two inches longer, an inch and a half, two inches longer. Then when I get back from taking this to the radiator shop, I'm going to put some cleaner through here. I'm going to suck it through, make sure all the bad shit's out. And this Schrader valve here is leaking, so I got to replace that too. But other than that, I'm just going to tighten the radiator back down so I can drive it in case I need it. And then, just putting these bolt, these nuts back on here. Because these are brass and I don't want to lose them. I got to retorque the uh, bumper too. Since I did use my winch pulling Tom's tree stumps out. Make sure they're good, they're good and tight. But yeah, we're going to take that to the radiator shop and hopefully they'll be able to fix it and we'll have air again. Friggin' right.